Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to add some quick music to the game. Um, I, I've used this asset before, I really like it. It's called Endless Cave Ambience. Go ahead and find that on the asset store. Click on Open in Unity. And since this is a um, fairly short tutorial series. I'm just gonna drop this music into the game. We're not gonna bother creating any sort of uh, like any sort of music controller. You know, if we were building like a like a full scale first person shooter, we would want like like an ability to create playlists and then cycle through music based on like player location and stuff like that. Um, for this, it's not quite so important. So I'm, I'm just going to take Endless Cave Ambience, drop that into Imported, and then I believe we can just drop this into our scene. And it, it actually looks like it came with some some like mixer control type stuff uh, but I'm not I, like uh, I haven't really looked into it enough to 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 describe how it works to you guys so I'm just gonna drop this into the scene and I, I think I'll just start with cave loop drop that in hit play and there we go um, the, the music loops on its own it's about two minutes long and this will just play for the the entire duration that the user plays your game. And it, it actually sounds really nice. I, I highly recommend listening to this with headphones. It's really, really well done. Um, while we're at it... Uh, actually, was that playing in the scene? Yeah, it is. Awesome. And I, 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 I shouldn't have done that. Um, I, I just dragged it into the scene and it put an audio source on the train. Um, I, I only found it because I, I knew where to look. But what you should really do is create a new object centered and just call this music and then put that on there. Save that. And it's been a little while since I've done a GitHub commit. I think we're on episode... Uh, shoot, I don't even know. I think this is episode episode 19, um, so I'll, I'll do a commit right after this episode. Um, let's see, where was I? We have our audio source, it's going to play sound. And um, since this is such a short video, really quickly I'm going to add just a little a little script for destroying the bullets. Um, we'll, we'll say die after time. And I'm going to apply this to the bullet prefab. You'll no you'll notice when we go into play mode, you can like shoot the ground, and then these bullets just stick around forever. And so if the player is playing for like 15 minutes, uh, eventually there's going to there's potentially millions of bullets on the screen, and that's going to crash their computer. So we're going to create this die after time script, and it has public float lifespan and private float life start. So as soon as this object is created we have life start equals time dot time and in our update method if lifespan no actually if time dot time so if if the current time in our game is greater than lifespan plus life start like that um, if that's the case we know this object has been alive longer than it's supposed to be it was born at this time it lived this amount of time and we passed that point so we're just going to destroy the object destroy this dot game object And now we can set that to whatever we want in the prefab. So click on the bullet, 
and let's just give it a lifespan of two seconds. So you can see they ricochet off the ground and then they start disappearing like that. Um, th this way our, our game won't lag out and crash. Alright, I'm going to cut this video off here.